With sustainable agriculture, data really plays a key role. Um, really in two specific areas. The first one I would say is precision agriculture. A second area is with carbon markets. A lot of companies want to see proof that the practices farmers are implementing are actually having a changeable impact to the world. So farmers will use uh, data from precision agriculture directly on their farms by taking measurements across fields um, to know, for example, how much nitrogen to apply. And this has been especially important when we come to times of high input prices. Right now, cover crops are used on about 8% of farmland across the state and 27% of farmland uses no-till, which are uh, both either in line or above what's going on in the United States as a whole. These rates are maybe a little bit lower than we might think, but that really brings in the role that data can play by seeing what successful farmers who have used these practices have seen to their operation. That could really help encourage other farmers to adopt these practices and see the, these rates increase even more in the future. So producers have really shifted towards um, these sustainable practices in part because of the economic benefits they bring to their operation. And, you know, it works out well because a lot of these practices like cover crops or no-till, they both have the on-farm benefits of um, agronomically improving uh, farms, but the off-farm benefit, which transfers to environmental benefits, either talking about improved water quality or uh, carbon capture from the atmosphere but they also directly impact the farmer's bottom line. For every dollar that's spent on food, farmers only get about 16 cents of that. And on the other end, their prices have really gone up, the prices they're paying for input. So trying to be as efficient possible, both economically and from a sustainability standpoint, is one way farmers can really help themselves in these tough economic times. If farmers are using practices that are sustainable practices, but they're also more efficient at farm production, we would expect consumers to benefit by getting um, essentially some of those savings passed down to them overall. A lot of this shift towards sustainable agriculture has been driven by consumers. You know, consumer preferences have evolved so that a lot of consumers, a huge segment of the consumer base, really cares about their food they're eating, the clothes they're wearing, being made sustainably. I chose to be an economist because, you know, I see economics in large part as sort of the science of promoting human happiness. And with agriculture, anything I do is really directed to helping farmers or people in general make decisions that can improve their lives. My goal is to take the complex nature of data and economics and bring it down to earth to farmers and consumers.